Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Hazi here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. This is the fifth Wednesday of the month, which usually makes for a small and unusual batch of books, but as always, there's great stuff to talk about. We've been talking a lot about Jack Kirby, uh, the king, because it's his 100th birthday this week. So we'll start with his stuff. This is your Dark Side Special, uh, written by one of my all-time favorite creators, Mark Evanier, uh, though I always want to say Mark Evanier. Uh, Google that guy. If there is someone who can lay claim to being the biggest fan of comics in the universe ever, it's Mark Evanier. And uh, his love of Jack Kirby is famous, and I'm really happy that they picked him to write one of these. Dark Side is... Uh, Boy, among Kirby's millions and millions of great characters, Darkseid might be his greatest creation. Uh, what more can you say about Kirby or Darkseid or anything else? Pick up this book. Pick up all the Kirby specials. Uh, I love that they all have little uh, side stories like this one has Omac. Uh, like I say, what, what can you say? Except that here's another one. Uh, the Black Racer. Uh, Kirby's version of Death in The New Gods. Uh, you can see Mr. Miracle there on the cover. Uh, again, what's your side story in this one? Uh, includes classic Kirby bonus stories. So there you go. Pick up the Black Racer. Like I say, pick up all that Kirby stuff. We'll talk more about him in a minute. Batman on a motorcycle is always worth cover price. Super cool. Uh, fifth Wednesdays usually bring about things like out of continuity books like All Star Batman or annuals like uh, Red Hood in the, an in the Outlaws annual number one. Been loving this title, by the way. Or Supergirl Annual Number One. Uh, annuals are just usually double-sized, self-contained one-shots. Just extra bonus material in this extra bonus fifth week. But fifth weeks also carry some standards, like Justice League of America, with a little more Batman for you. Or, of course, Wonder Woman. Probably one of the biggest titles out there these days. Almost nothing is bringing in new fans to comics like Wonder Woman. Thanks, DC. You're doing a great job with that book. Like I say, pretty small week for the DC guys. Awesome week for the Marvel guys. Speaking of Kirby, he uh, started a little book called The X-Men. This is one of his creations, co-creations, if you want to say. Henry McCoy, The Beast. Been loving me some X-Men Blue because I'm a big fan of original X-Men because I'm a big fan of Jack Kirby. Maybe I've made that obvious either in uh, this video or last week's. He also created someone called Jean Grey, one of the original X-Men, uh, one of the most important characters in Marvel Comics. Uh, Again, can't say enough about Jean Grey, X-Men, Kirby. Uh, Marvel's got some Kirby specials of their own, some $1 reprints of uh, some of his classic work. This is uh, a reprint of a classic issue of Tales of Suspense with uh, your original Iron Man there on the cover. Or Ant-Man and the Wasp to get you ready for Ant-Man 2. This is an old reprint from Tales to Astonish. You know I'm an old Avengers fan, so you know I'm an old... Uh, Ant-Man and Wasp fan. So I'm loving these dollar reprints because this book would cost you oh anywhere from 50 to 500 bucks if you tried to buy the original. Secret Empire number 10. The final issue. The big wrap up of the controversial maxi series that will feed into the Marvel Legacy stuff and whatever. I know, I know, there's been naysayers, there's been critics. I think this book's been a lot of fun. I think it's been a very solid Marvel event. It will uh, read in a great trade paperback, just like almost all the other Marvel events have, at least in recent years. Great stuff. As you know, I'm a big cat fan, been liking that. Generations, speaking of big Marvel events, this is the fourth in the weekly series of uh, matchups with your uh, classic version and your legacy version, as it were. This is Hawkeye and Hawkeye. They did Thor and Thor, Wolverine and Wolverine, Hulk and Hulk. Make sure you check these out. They've been a lot of fun. It's not going to necessarily change your life, uh, but, but each of them has been a really solid story. Great story, great art. Uh, and speaking of some legacy characters, some Kirby characters, here's another one. The Scarlet Witch is, uh, goes back to X-Men number four. Here's a couple of everyone's favorite women in comics, women in, of Marvel. 
Everybody loves Rogue. I'm a huge Scarlet Witch fan. That's Uncanny Avengers 26. That book's been a lot of fun. Speaking of the women of Marvel, how about Spider-Gwen or Mighty Captain Marvel, a Secret Empire tie-in, or Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur? Uh, contrary to what the internet might tell you, all of these women of Marvel books uh, sell really well. People really like them. Uh, I know a couple of them have been threatened with cancellation, probably like this one, Moon Girl. But, uh, you know, it's a nice, diverse range of stuff. And like we always say, great stories, great art. What more do you want? Speaking of the women of Marvel, there's one of my favorites. Uh, Rogue is a lot of people's, uh, one of, a lot of people's favorite X-Men. Storm is one of my favorite X-Men. Also a huge Black Panther fan. If you don't know the connection between these two, boy, you've missed out on a lot of comics. Black Panther The Crew is your other Black Panther book. He's carrying three titles right now because he's that awesome. Speaking of awesome, Infamous Iron Man starring Victor Von Doom. Another uh, great Kirby co-creation. Try saying that times fast. Thanos. Not too many uh, people more popular than Thanos, especially these days. One of Marvel's big movie stars and he hasn't even uh, really starred in anything yet. Uh, check out that super awesome cover with all the heroes of the Marvel Universe. You didn't know Thanos was an Avenger, did you? Deadpool! Secret Empire tie-in, though that's not why you're going to buy it. You're going to buy it because it's got Deadpool on the cover. Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme. The Doctor is also carrying multiple books these days because he's that awesome. Speaking of multiple books because they're awesome, Guardians of the Galaxy. It's your Telltale miniseries. Love me some Drax. And rounding out the Marvel stuff is Star Wars with some awesome hand and chewy Jabba the Hutt stuff. And your first wit issue of Mace Windu. Uh, along with uh, two or three ongoings, they always have a miniseries rolling out. Darth Maul just ended. Mace Windu is just getting started. I know he's a lot of people's favorite Jedi, one of the coolest uh, characters in the prequels for sure. If you're a Star Wars fan like everybody is, you want to check that out. An awesome week for all the other guys too. It's Whedon Week with my friends at Dark Horse. This is Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 11. These covers are amazing. This is Angel Season 11 because somehow they've caught up to each other. I'm a really big Angel fan, really like this book. I've liked all the incarnations uh, that Dark Horse has done with this, Angel and Faith, and now Angel Season 11. Everybody knows I'm a big Whedon fan, and everybody knows I'm a big Mike Mignola fan, never missing a chance to talk up BPRD or Hellboy or Abe Sapien or Lobster Johnson, Baltimore, any of the other million things the guy does. Hey Mike, when are you going to do a demon book at DC? Just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, but also, this is a book called Rebels, and this is a book called Lady Killer. Just to show you that Dark Horse does uh, a lot more than property stuff and uh, things like Hellboy. Uh, everybody should have a Dark Horse book on their list. They're just as diverse as anything that Image does. Go to DarkHorseComics.com and find the Dark Horse book that's right for you, because they're super awesome. And speaking of super awesome and Image Comics, this is Saga. Uh, this is the second biggest uh, independent book ever behind Walking Dead, I would guess. Everybody's into Saga. I know you're all following in the trade paperback, but I'm always encouraging you guys to check uh, to catch up to the individual issues because the trade paperbacks always take too long to come out. So catch up to Volume 7 in the trades and grab these latest issues because, well, frankly, comics are just more fun periodical. Deadly Class! probably your other image book of the week but spawn is my image book of the week because i still love me some spawn as i keep saying great stories great art always been some of the best art in comics good stuff how about some idw gi joe has three books this week this is gi joe the more modern version this is G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, the more classic version by Larry Hama, the greatest G.I. Joe guy of all time. Harkens back to the old school Marvel stuff. And then this is your Hasbro Heroes source book with snake eyes right there on the cover. This is your uh, encyclopedic stuff for all your G.I. Joe and Transformers and ROM and 
all the other great guys they do over at IDW. Fun stuff. Go Go Power Rangers is your Boom Studios book of the week. That's their other title because you guys can't get enough of the Mighty Morphins. Doctor Who has a cool new mini series starting. They always uh, have a run of minis, kind of like the Star Wars stuff. Cool silver cover there. That and Robotech are your Titan books of the week. Can't say enough about how fast Robotech number one sold out. Everybody has added it to their subscription list, so Robotech 2 is probably sold out here in my little corner of the world. I hope you're uh, in line at your favorite shop to grab your copy, or I hope this is already on your sub list. Vampirella from Dynamite, Lady Mechanica, and Soulfire are three amazing female characters that round out all my independent stuff for the week. I can't say enough about how happy I am that Aspen is still going strong. Uh, carrying on all of the brilliance of Michael Turner. Uh, if you don't know who Michael Turner is, uh, Google him, check out his amazing work. He was uh, taken from us too soon. And uh, like I say, good job, Aspen. And in the all ages department, I've been talking a lot of Archie. Last week I was talking some of their uh, PG-13 books. This is their return to the all ages periodical comics. This is your pal Archie number two. We still got number one in stock. Uh, much like their other titles, they're just sort of reimagining their all ages stuff. It's the Archie you remember, but a little more modern, a little more fun. Well, not to say a little more fun. I love classic Archie as well. It's as fun as it used to be. But like I say, they just kind of freshened it up for the next generations. Grab that number one, grab number two. Uh, and again, like last week, grab Archie and Reggie and me and Afterlife and Sabrina and Josie and Jughead and everything else that they do because Archie is just like one of the best publishers going right now. Speaking of which, this is Jughead with Archie Digest. This is your super classic Archie. This one uh, is your back to school issue with Jughead crying, kicking and screaming that he doesn't want to go back to school. That's why I love Jughead because he's just like me. I love burgers and not going to school. Like I say, Archie's just on fire, so make sure uh, you have an Archie book on your list. Lots and lots of great stuff, even though it's a fifth Wednesday, so check those shipping lists, get down to your shop, pick up something super fun to read. That's all I got for you for this week. You can check us out at Facebook, check us out at blackhatcomics.biz, check out our YouTube channel, check out our uh, podcast at soundcloud.com, or just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.